Topic 16, Thermal Properties, Part 2, Thermometers. Thermometers. Thermometers use materials that, when heated, change their physical properties. It could be a change in volume, it could be a change in length, or a change in pressure, or a change in electrical resistance, or a change in voltage, or even colour. All thermometers need calibrating. The scale needs to be created on the side of the thermometer. To do this, two fixed points are required. For example, the Celsius scale uses the melting point of ice and the boiling point of water. These two points are marked on the scale. One is 0 degrees C, one is 100 degrees C, and then 100 equal spaces are added. Calibrating a Celsius thermometer. First of all, they put the thermometer in ice, and then they mark that mercury level here. And that equates to 0 degrees C. Then they put it in boiling water, the mercury level rises, and then they mark this point here for 100 degrees C. Then the space in between the two points is divided up into 100 even divisions. It is important to know the meaning of these words in relation to thermometers. Sensitivity is different from fast response. It means a thermometer is sensitive if it gives a large response to a small change in temperature. The greater the amount of liquid in a bulb, the greater the expansion, and therefore the greater the sensitivity. Range means the range of values a thermometer can measure. Linearity means it is assumed that the liquid in the thermometer expands uniformly, like this a straight line. Accuracy An accurate thermometer gives correct readings. Quick response The glass walls of the bulb, this bulb here, need to be thin to have quick response. That's because the heat can get through very quickly. Mercury does not expand as much as ethanol or alcohol and is thus less sensitive. Mercury freezes at minus 38 degrees C whereas alcohol or ethanol freezes at minus 114 degrees C. Ethanol can only measure up to 78 degrees C before it starts to boil whereas mercury boils at 356 degrees C. A thermal couple consists of a circuit made up of two wires. One is iron, one is copper, with a very sensitive meter giving you the temperature reading. With the two junctions, one is cold, one is hot, and difference in temperature will cause a current of flow in the circuit. The greater the difference in temperature, the greater is the current. A thermal couple is an electrical thermometer most commonly used in industry. It can be measured at a distance. It is cheap, small and can measure high temperatures. It works by having two junctions of two types of metal. This creates an EMF or a voltage which changes depending on temperature.